This week, I'll show you how to prevent reflections from your flash showing up in eyeglasses. Adorama TV presents Digital Photography One-on-One, -on -one, where we answer your questions. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Digital Photography One-on-One. -on -one. Well, a lot of people uh, take portraits of people with eyeglasses and that can cause all kinds of problems when your flash shows up in the glasses. And so let's dive right in and start with a question from Eric in Scottsdale, Arizona. Eric asked, how do I prevent reflections from my flash in eyeglasses? Well, Eric, to understand how reflections in eyeglasses are caused, what we really need to understand is something called the angle of incidence. And to understand that, let's take a quick look at this animation. The angle of incidence is the angle that light strikes a surface. If we have a light totally perpendicular to a flat surface, then the angle of incidence would be zero degrees. As our light moves, our angle of incidence also moves. In this animation, you can see that our angle of incidence is 15 degrees. What we need to know is how that light is reflected so we can know where to place our camera. The angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence. So in this scenario, our angle of reflection would be 15 degrees. If our source of light moved to 40 degrees, our angle of reflection would also move to 40 degrees. Our angle of incidence and our angle of reflection are always the same. All right, well, now that you've seen that animation, we're here in the studio and Monique is joining me and we're gonna need, we need to put into practice what we just saw uh, to see how the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection actually work in real life. And so what we've done is we went down to a local pharmacy and got the nastiest reading glasses we could find. They're big, the lenses are almost totally flat, and so that's really gonna cause us a lot of issues and give us some reflections. And so these aren't what we would normally have, but we really wanted to exaggerate this. Now what we have here is just an on-camera, uh, off-camera flash, a speed light into an umbrella, pretty close so we get nice soft light on Monique so we can get a really nice portrait. And so let me take a picture really quickly so look straight at me Monique just like that perfect all right now I have that shot and you can see that in the left lens there of that uh, glass we have all kinds of reflections from this umbrella now to fix that all I really need to do is change the angle of incidence and therefore change the angle of reflection so if I change this angle right here to a more extreme angle something like this What's going to happen is that light is going to hit those glasses and it's going to reflect toward the floor, not toward the lens, and that should eliminate that reflection. So let's try it out. So look right at me, Monique, just like that, beautiful. And just like that, you can see that there is no reflection in that left lens, totally gone, just by changing the angle of our flash. I know it's pretty crazy. Now that works with glasses like this that are just sort of flat and nasty, but what happens if we have some cool looking glasses? So let's trade these out. So these are more realistic. These are glasses that you might actually find somebody wearing. These are convex. So they're not flat, they're actually at more rounded. So now we have this umbrella at the exact same location. I'll take another picture. So look right at me, beautiful. And you can see, well now that we have this convex lens, well the angle of incidence has changed because it's seeing this umbrella, it's reflecting right back into my lens. So we have that issue, it's come back. So now what do we do? Well, we can change the angle again by raising this light. So we're gonna raise this way up here. So this is as tall as it's gonna go. And by changing that angle again, we're really trying to exaggerate the angle of reflection. So it comes from an extreme angle to another extreme angle and not hitting our lens. So let me shoot this again, this time in that flash way up in the air. So look right at me, Monique, perfect. Okay, now when we look at that, you can see that again, the reflection is gone, but something horrible has happened. And that is because this is such a, an extreme angle, we have a high contrast, lots of light just falling off, shadows everywhere, and it's not really a really nice uh, lighting setup. So what we need to do is kick some more light in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Kelsey bring in this reflector here, and we're just gonna put it as close as possible to Monique. And this angle, the way it is right now, is just gonna bounce light right back into uh, the other side of Monique's face and sort of soften up that light. So Monique, again, look right at me, beautiful, just like that. Okay, now you can see we've really opened that up. Things look really good. Now what we could have had, and we didn't have on this one, sometimes you'll get even more issues because this, the angle of reflection, can actually cause some uh, uh, highlights to show up in the glasses. And then if you have that, all you have to do is change the angle of the reflector, 
and that will still bounce light into the other side of your subject's face, but it won't bounce light, bounce light right onto the glasses, and so you can just sort of change the angle of your reflector, and you have some more uh, options. So let's just take a shot of this, and you'll see it's looking very similar to what we had before. Beautiful. Okay, now you can see there, by changing that, we actually added a little bit of a reflection on this side. So it really is important the angle that you put your reflector because you can either add or subtract light, but you can also add or subtract some of these reflections in glasses. Well, there you have it. The angle of incidence and the angle of reflection can add up to either give you crazy reflections or to eliminate them altogether. So if you have reflections in uh, glasses, the first thing you need to try is just changing the angle of your light. If that doesn't work, you really need to extremely change the angle by raising it or lowering it, and that'll get rid of that glare. Well, Eric, thank you so much for the question this week. Now, don't forget, if you want to learn a little bit more about basic lighting setups or shooting in a small studio, we have two other episodes that we've done here on Digital Photography One-on-One, -on -One, and that is episode 206 and episode 208. So make sure you check those out because it'll sort of uh, fill out some of the information we talked about today. Well, if you're like Eric and you have a question about uh, studio lighting or photography or photography gear, don't hesitate to send me a question to askmark at adorama.com and I might just use it on an upcoming episode. And as well, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. We've got videos coming out every single week. And also check out the Adorama Learning Center because we've got tons of articles and videos and all kinds of good stuff for photographers, so check it out. Well, thanks again for joining me. I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Well, thanks so much for joining me this week. We had a lot of... Uh, no. Well, Eric, so th and don't uh, f f fire bad. I am <laughs> Frankenstein. Digital photography one on one is written and produced by Snap Factory. For more information about our workshops, visit snapfactory.com.